Many people believe teleportation is impossible, but recent experiments have concluded otherwise. Hello, and welcome to Nerd Sanctum. Today in Science News, researchers have figured out a reliable method of quantum teleportation that can aid in the transportation of digital information. Quantum teleportation has been a very important step in information technology that has continued to elude us. The general idea of quantum teleportation is to seamlessly send information from one part of the universe to another, instantaneously, without it actually having to travel between the two points. Now, although over short distances, digital information may seem to travel instantly, but they're actually traveling at the speed of light. So if you had something, let's say, 5.87 times 10 to the 12 miles away, that's roughly a light year, that it would actually take one year for that information to go from, you know, the first point to the second point. Now, with this new experimental discovery, we can actually transmit that information from over that same distance instantly. No matter how far away it is, you know, even if it was literally on the opposite end of the universe, it would get there instantly. It has been known for a while now that quantum teleportation is possible, but testing methods were never really reliable and couldn't really handle large amounts of data until now. In 2006, researchers at the Niels Bohr Institute successfully teleported light between gas atoms. This is possible due to the idea of quantum entanglement. In very simple terms, this is the idea that if you bond or chemically react two atoms together and then separate them, there's a magical connection between the two no matter how far apart they are. Now, with this connection established, if you do something or change the charge direction or quantum state of one atom, there's a predictable effect or change on the second atom instantly. Now with this new experimental method, we are able to teleport information between not just two atoms, but between two gaseous clouds with billions of atoms which can allow us to transmit much more data, and amazingly, when they found the correct method, it succeeded not only once or twice, but every single time. The procedure for this experiment is to have two closed glass containers containing gas that are not connected. Then a laser is shot through both containers, which appears to synchronize the clouds together. Then one container is placed into a chamber with a magnetic field, and the other container is placed in a chamber with a very sensitive photon detector. So what these scientists then do is fire a laser into the first container which makes the electrons in the outermost layer of the gas atoms point in line with the magnetic field like a compass. Now, when this is happening, both clouds are emitting photons or packets of energy in the form of light. So scientists can use the photon detector around the second container to determine the magnetic alignment and how it directly correlates to the change in the first container. Now keeping in mind how amazing this unintuitive teleportation of information is, scientists are even able to do this at room temperature. This meaning that gas atoms are traveling at around 200 meters a second, or 447 miles per hour. And every time they hit or collide with the side of the container, their information is lost. Now, fortunately, scientists discovered a paraffin-like substance that they can coat the inside of the container with, so when a collision does happen, no data is lost, and this is what actually contributes to their near-perfect success rate. Now, we know roughly how this procedure works, so let's discuss what this discovery actually means and why it's such a big deal. This discovery is essential for long-distance communication. One specific application would be sending data from satellites going into deep space like Voyager 1, which as of March 20th is actually the first man-made object to leave our solar system after its long 35-year journey. Right now, Voyager 1 is over 18,508,000,000 kilometers away from the center of our sun, which means it takes roughly, well, a little bit over 34 hours for light to travel from our sun to Voyager 1 and then back it for us um, in order for us to actually receive information that it collects. Now not only does this method cut that growing 34 hour time requirement into an instant, but this method actually secures the data that is transferred. Often data sent through space needs to be adjusted when decoded because variable solar radiation can alter the encoded data, but with this new method, data can be instantly duplicated from this deep space into our Earth-based lab stations with no contact without a radiation. Now currently this method may not seem pertinent, 
but as time goes on, if we ever want to send humans to voyage into space, we'd need to utilize this new method as a reliable means of communication with the voyagers. So that's today's science news. Hopefully in the near future we'll see engineers putting this newly discovered method into actual applications. If you like this episode, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to hear more science news. If you have any questions about this episode or would like something covered more in depth, please leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good day.